this short demonstration we're going to work through how to create a working folder to store your assessments, MyOB data files and so on. So the first thing we will do is we need to open up Windows Explorer. Now one way is to click the yellow folder in the bottom left corner if you have one on your toolbar. Now I'll just hit the X there to close that window. Another way if you don't have a folder down the bottom is to right click on your start button and choose open Windows Explorer. Once we have that window you may need to maximize it or uh, to make it full screen. There we go. Or we can put our mouse in the corner to drag and resize it. Now today I'm going to create the folder on my C drive. So you'll notice it's defaulted there to my libraries. I'll click on my C drive which is my hard drive. From here again we're going to use our right mouse click. So we're going to come over on the C drive here and we're going to create a folder called Cert4. And to do that we'll just check that there's not already a folder there called Cert4. Um, note you can sort there alphabetically by clicking the header there on name and down the bottom I'll right click and choose new folder. That then creates this new folder. Now without clicking in there I'll just type in cert4 and I might put my name on the end so today I'll just put Joe Blogs. Joe Blog will do and hit enter. If I then double click on that Joe Blog folder you'll note now I can see up in the path I'm in C Drive Cert4 Joe Blog. Within here I can create more subfolders so let's right click New Folder and I'll call this first folder miscellaneous. And so in there I might save some uh, miscellaneous things to do with my course. I could then go through and create folders for each unit. Um, so let's just do one more. Right click New and we'll choose Folder and I'm going to call this one one of the unit codes. So let's say um, FNS BKG 404A for example. Alright, and we'll do one more. New folder, and I'll call this Applications and Downloads. Just for generic stuff I download. So there's a simple demonstration on how to create a working folder to store your information in.